What's going on guys, Metaver here with Lethal Garage and today I'm crafting a video on, <laughs> I guess you can call it starting to replace my brakes but getting my uh, rotors for my brakes, uh, not did I say rotors? I said rotors. Getting my calipers for my brakes powder coated. Now you may ask, Matt, you use a G2 kit, you posted that long ago. Well, you know what, I'm getting new rotors that are a little bit more expensive, I'm at the point now where I've decided I'm not getting the upgraded brakes right away, so I'm gonna go have these taken down to get powder coated because I did get a couple rock chips and I wanna show you something about the G2 kit. It's been on my car for about a year and a half, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like off the car and all that greatness. So let's, let's, let's look at the wheels and then we'll go look at the uh, calipers. So my car is currently in shambles. The hood, the front clip, the splitter, the wing in the back, it's all getting painted, redone, all looking great. I started taking off my brakes. The big reason why is because, see all this beautiful rust on the hub? This is because I'm a person who washes my car all the time. And when you get water trapped behind your wheel and it sits on the hub, it rusts like that. So I'm pulling it all apart to get in there and get it nice and clean. But in that, I've decided to pull off my front calipers on my brakes. I'm gonna take them down to precision powder coating here in Temecula and have them properly powder coated instead of having the G2 kit and uh, here I'll show you what they look like now after a year and a half of use. Okay, so here are the brakes. These are the stock SS Brembo. So no, they're not the, the six pots, they're the four pots. You can see my beautiful decal lettering. That's not even straight, it's not perfect. I put it on the best my eyeballs could while it was on the car, it's not perfect. Um, it's still holding up. They are a little dirty, I haven't cleaned them in a while, but you know, the, the coating is actually holding up, holding up pretty nice. You will see there's a couple nicks and scratches in them. That was from me working on my car, not necessarily anything else. The other side is you could see up top here when we changed and bled the brake fluid, some of the brake fluid got on the upper edge and it's just causing the coating to peel off. So that's one of the things that I wanted to fix. Now the other side was, if you guys didn't remember, I never coated the back side of them. So I did a super ghetto job. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these apart, take them down, get them powder coated and uh, I'm back on the car so they'll look all nice and good and pretty so let's go down to precision powder coating and see what they have to say so you guys are probably gonna hate me because I didn't record all of this but we just pulled apart the brakes my hands are covered in brake fluid but just to show you guys in this box is all the parts and pieces that hold together your brakes there's the top nipples for the fill there's the covers, there's the bolts that hold the two sides together, and then the actual pistons and then all the seals that we pulled out. Now, I did order a brand new seal kit. It's like 40 bucks, it's not cheap, but here you go. Here's the inside. We pulled the inner seal, the outer seal, and drained it all out. And then again, we pulled off the field cap covers or the, the nipples and the, the whatever. All the different pieces, so they're all in there now pulled apart now we can head over to precision powder coat to show you what this looks like i guess it's probably a good thing i didn't necessarily show exactly how to do this because it was not easy pulling these pistons out we actually we used the fill line to route pressurized air to pop the seals uh, made it easier to pull out i'm sure they make a tool uh, that grabs the top of these pistons and you can just pull them right out but we did not have said tool so I would rather not show you the ghetto methods of <laughs> what we did. Uh, but yeah, precision powder coat, here we go. Precision powder coat, it's Mecula. Look at all the colors. What colors should I do? Should I do red, blue, purple? No, we'll do red. I do good work here. And now we stare at my dirty pieces. They're terrible. So parts are now dropped off. They're gonna be doing a chemical strip, obviously to get just all the crap off and the G2 kit stuff and the decals and everything that are on there. They're gonna be taping off and filling in uh, a lot of the screw holes and a lot of the mount holes. So that way when the bolts go back in, it's not stripping um, or chipping the uh, powder coat you know, once we put them back together again. So it did say, they did say it's gonna take a week. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping to have my car back together again this coming weekend, but it's probably gonna have to be a whole additional weekend, um, you know, the last week of, or going into the first week of April. 
so we'll see we'll see what happens um it's gonna be uh, a nice red color i do already have decals that i got off ebay so i'll place those back on there and as you notice it's just the fronts for right now um just because i wasn't able to get the rotors and i don't want to pull the whole back end apart to then have to pull it all back apart again uh so i could just do it in phases and it should all be done before CamaroCon. so either or i'm i'm okay with it and uh the rear the rear rotors aren't coming for another two weeks so i i got time so either or yeah so next video will be final product uh just want to give you guys kind of an update on what's going on but it is all coming together and uh can't wait to see what these look like and do a little comparison of how they looked with the g2 kit versus this obviously this route is more expensive and it is more timely because you do have to pull apart the brakes uh where the g2 kit you can literally tape off your brakes and paint it right right then and there so i think most people will opt for the g2 kit but i think powder coating is going to look just a little bit more better whatever if that's a word but yeah we'll see but until next time guys thanks for watching and uh i hope to see you on the road